So what was in Remco's bottle? I assume you all saw his horrendous crash in Lombardia. And then David Bramati, as we can see here, took something out his back pocket. And we'll zoom in and no one knows what it is. Um, we've got a clearer footage here. Again, he bends down, takes it out of his back pocket and then puts it subsequently in his trust pocket. Now, the Anti-Doping Foundation, Cycling Anti-Doping Foundation have decided to investigate and figure out what has gone on with Remco. So obviously this is a pretty terrible situation. Remco, he said he was crying, he was very upset about it. Obviously he is at a horrendous crash and this is not what you want to have. So there's two theories. So there's a theory that, well, I guess there's three. Anti-Doping Foundation probably think could be some sort of dodged drugs. Quick step official theory is it was just contained nutrition products, nothing sus. Bit weird, it's not in a bead on, but anyway, we'll go into that later. And three is that it was streaming data. So we'll we'll go through each of those and figure out what it could be. So read the Cycle News article, and it says that uh, Bramati said that he, he you know he knew that Remco had crashed because there was no data. But Lapartian, who's the president of the UCI, said you can't be transmitting data. It's illegal to transmit data in a, a race unless you have permission from the race organizer, etc. Which is basically like. Velon, I'm not sure if you know about them, they like uh, often transmit data from the riders, but you can't have it transmitting to the team car um, unless you have prior permission. So obviously that was a slight issue. Quickstep repeatedly said that it was just nutrition product and that was it. And obviously the CADF are thinking it could be a nutrition product, but what's in it? Um, if we keep scrolling down, you'll see that um, they're going to talk about finishing bottle. Um, so a finishing bottle is basically like often has back in the day amphetamines and things like that in it um so it's like you know obviously a bit dodge um but they were just saying it's probably coke red bull bit of caffeine nothing that's forbidden they don't do painkillers in the team we definitely use tramadol obviously not going to say yeah we use tramadol in it because tramadol is not actually illegal in cycling but not in a lot of them um but there is this video which i think isn't loading on this screen but we'll, we'll find it here um let me just scroll down a minute and it says this man um, plays it. So you can see Remco's on the front. He then takes a bottle um, and then, as you can see here, and then he squishes it and puts it in his back pocket. Obviously, he crashed 8K later. So this guy's saying what is in it. Was it something like tram or codeine or something like that, which could potentially make him a bit sleepy, a bit dows uh, drowsy or whatever? I mean, I'm not, not going to try to say it is that, but obviously this is what the guy's trying to say. Um, there's also other theories... Uh, that his bike stopped working. I don't think it's that. I think it's, he just crashed. But anyway, it's interesting to see what it's going to be. I mean, I think if it is the data, it's quite odd because surely you just admit it and that's, okay, it's not great, but it's not it's not horrendous. Um, well, and then the CADF won't investigate it or it actually just is like a nutrition product. But I don't understand why you wouldn't just put it on a beetle. Why would you put it in a separate thing? That's the thing that doesn't really make any sense. No one really knows why that is. And obviously... We're never really going to get to the end of it, I think, because I don't think Bramati's going to have it with him. So there's going to, like, how are you going to prove it? There's no way of proving it because the doctor could just be like, oh, I made it up, but I can't remember what was in it, or the team Swanee or whatever. And then Bramati's going to say, oh, I washed my trousers, threw it out, sorry, mate. And then how are you ever going to figure out what it is? Unless someone leaks it and grasses, but no one ever will because then they lose their jobs. And that's not ideal. Saigon so knows that having doping scandals is bad news. And so there won't be any many more. Um, so anyway, I think it's a bit of a investigation into nothing. Um, it would be good to see what it is. I just don't believe that. I mean, it's good that having an investigation to figure out what it is, because obviously no one knows. And maybe it is nothing dodge at all. But I think it's going to be really hard to figure out what the truth is. Um, leave in your in the comments below what you think it is, other theories, potentials of what it could be. Um, you know, ultimately no one really knows. Um, I think him commenting about his data had stopped was by Bramati was a bit odd. He said that we looked at the Bellon data, but everyone's like, hmm. Uh, but anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy. Um, get have some updates on the tour in the near future as well. Uh, and we'll see you next time.